we are going to be taking a trip around the world to see how different parts of the world experience different kinds of weather during fall. I can't wait. Which reminds me, I should tuck my raincoat. Can't forget to do that. Take a trip to a magical place. Read a book and feel the sun on your face. Learn something new and make a friend or two. And then you can stream house, all your dreams come true. While it may be fall here in America and other parts of the world right now, the seasons are opposite in other parts of the world. And what's even more amazing, that even though it's fall here in America, the weather changes drastically from the east coast to the west coast and from the north to the south. Do you call it fall where you live or do you call it autumn? I'm here based on the west coast of America in Southern California. And the weather here is still sunny and gorgeous, though it still can be chilly at night and it's still pretty much blue sky with a chance of meatballs. <laughs> Just kidding, there won't be any meatballs falling from the skies. Or will there? Would you guys like to take a look over the east coast of America to see what the weather is like there during the fall? Let's go over to Manhattan, New York, one of my favorite cities in the entire world. Well, I've not actually been there personally, but I can't wait to go. Do you know what one of the most popular attractions to see in New York is? Dun, dun, dun! Well, it's the Statue of Liberty, obviously! A lot of people go to Manhattan to watch the shows on Broadway. And I'm sure you guys know how much I love Broadway. I can't wait to see a musical on Broadway. <laughs> There's skyscrapers and of course the Empire State Building. But let's get back to the weather. I think a great place to check it out might be Central Park as the leaves start to change and fall off the trees. The temperature drops and it gets colder and snow starts to fall. Everything freezes over. Okay, I might be a little dramatic, but it does get really cold. Brr. So cold, in fact, that I'm going to need a heavier coat to stand with all of this snow. <laughs> oh, there's my coat, I'm warmer now. Actually, while I have my coat on, I think it's perfect timing to go to the North Pole. It's not only where Santa is from, but it's also the same part of the world where you can experience Aurora Borealis. Whoa, this is amazing, and it's a little chilly. I may need some earmuffs and a scarf too. Also known as the Northern Lights, it's a natural display in Earth's sky that's predominantly seen in high latitude regions around the Arctic and Antarctic. Auroras display dynamic patterns of brilliant light that appear as curtains, rays, spirals, or dynamic flickers covering the entire sky. Auroras are the results of disturbances in the magnetosphere caused by solar wind. These disturbances alter the trajectories of charged particles in magnetosphere plasma. These particles, mainly electrons and protons, precipitate into the upper atmosphere. Yikes! That was all just so scientific! I personally am just so impressed and excited by these amazing colors! Speaking of amazing colors, have you guys ever seen the beaches in Australia? They are so blue! Let's go check out Bondi Beach in Sydney, Australia to see how these Australians experience fall. Wait, what? They're in the water? Oh, of course, because when it's so cold here in the Northern Hemisphere, it's warmer in the Southern Hemisphere, which means we experience opposite seasons at the same time. Wow, these clothes are way too hot for Australia. If you go to the beach, especially in Australia right now, be sure to pack a sun hat. Ooh, that's cute. Your swimsuit? <laughs> that's not a swimsuit, but it's funny. <laughs> and your sunglasses. Oh, even a pair of sandals. Oh. Isn't it just fascinating that our planet is so amazing that seasons and traditions, even clothes, change from country to country and even from state to state, depending on where you live and what time of the year it is. I just love to learn about new places around the world, don't you? Where would you like to visit in the world? Do you have a favorite place on your travel wish list? If so, I would love to hear all about it. Be sure to leave a comment and tag me on Instagram. Send me a few pictures too. <laughs> hmm, which has given me an idea. 
I think I might go to Hawaii. Until next time, aloha.